Hello, I'm Matthias and I'm back with your favorite YouTube show. I'm on vacation right now at my parents' place in Bavaria. If the audio is not perfect, then please forgive me. I do the best that I can. Today I want to do a quick coding puzzle and you can find it on my GitHub repository. The link is somewhere below in the description. And the puzzle is called Balanced Brackets. If you have an input, it can consist of brackets and uh, they need to match in pairs. So it goes a bit like this. If you have an opening curly brace and a closing curly brace, then this is a valid input. And similarly, if you have a combination of curly braces, parentheses and square brackets and they come up in pairs, then this is all valid input. If one of those parentheses is missing, then yeah, this is a non-valid input. And the task is to find, given an input, if the input is correct or if it's not correct. So I want to show you how to do that in Rust real quick and we get to that right after the intro. I've created a quick sample project and now I want to add some tests. The first test is going to check if some opening and closing curly, um, some opening and closing parentheses are balanced and we expect that to be true. So we need our balanced function and we need to use it. So we say use super balanced in our test module because that is actually quite isolated from the rest and now we define our function here we say pop balanced we take a string as an input and we return a boolean and we say true now I want to do a little trick here I want to accept both a string and a stir so I say I want something that can be converted into a string and that is going to be my input, my input parameter. And we are missing the function here. Now if I run this, oops, forgot a, forgot a parenthesis here. If I run this, I get a successful test. But we can easily make a failing test by removing the closing parentheses. And here we expect false. And now we need to do the actual work. One thing we can do is using a vector as a stack. So if we find an opening bracket, then we can push it on the stack and if we find a closing bracket, then we pop from the stack and compare it. Let me show you what I mean. We define our stack that needs to be mutable. And that's a vector. And then we go through each and every character of the input for C in input. Now we need to convert the input into our string and we can do that because it implements the into trade. And then uh, once we have a string, we can iterate over each character. So in fact, we have three cases. The cases with opening parentheses. So an opening parentheses or, oops, Still getting used to the English keyboard. And uh, then we have the square brackets. And then we have the oops, curly braces. Damn it. If we have one of these, then we just push it on the stack. Stack.push C. If, however, we have the closing ones, 
then we need to do a little more work. What we need to do is compare the last thing on the stack with our current check character. So let's pop that from the stack. Let um, match. Uh, match is a keyword. Hmm. Let matching equals stack dot pop. Uh, let's call that previous. And this returns an option of a character. And we now need to compare that with the character that we expect. But what character do we expect really? Well, we haven't really defined it yet. So one way to do that is to define a hash map with the matches. So let's say let matches equals hash map new. Uh, let me quickly import it. Use std collections hash map. We have three cases. Matches can be an opening parenthesis. No, let's say a closing parenthesis. Then we expect an opening parenthesis. And if we got a closing a square bracket or a curly bracket, then we expect the same but opening. Anyway, we have those three cases. And we can match on those cases here. We get our input character. And then, if that is our previous value, then we're good and we do nothing. And if it's anything else, well, actually, it can't be anything else. And that part is unreachable. And in any other case, which is the case when we read a character that we don't expect, then we return, we return false. And once we're done with our iteration, we return true. Oh yeah, and that whole block needs to be in a match statement. And matches needs to be immutable. And in fact, here we call get on our hash map. And I guess we're missing a curly bracket here. Let's run our tests. You can see that the second test is failing, which is just checking for the opening parenthesis. And uh, this is because I forgot one very important condition, which is at the end of our execution, the stack needs to be empty. Instead of saying true here, we need to, call, we need to check if our stack is empty. stack.lang equals equals zero. Running the test again. And now everything passes. Let's add some more. In case of an empty stack, we expect this to be true. In case of a combination of many different parentheses, we expect this to be true because we have an opening and a close, closing a bracket in the correct order. We can also enclose everything into some more brackets. That should still be fine. I've added two more examples here. One which is still passing but a bit more complicated and the other one which is failing because there's a hello string at the end. And that was just a quick coding puzzle in Rust. I hope you had some fun. Let me just wait. 
Yeah, and that pretty much sums it up for today. I hope you had some fun. If you like this show, then please subscribe. If you feel generous, then think about donating on Patreon. Otherwise, I see you next time.